Our next inductee is John Jack Charles Steckley, 1887 to 1965. After graduating from the Ontario Agricultural College with a Bachelor of Science in Ag in 1911, John Steckley became the agricultural representative in York County. Here he began to organize a series of winter short courses to encourage young farmers to keep abreast of the advanced agricultural innovations and best practices. For the next 11 years, Steckley honed his skills in delivering agricultural education to rural youth, knowing that they would take their knowledge back to their parents' farms and increase food production in Ontario. In 1912, the first four junior farmer clubs were started in Ontario, with Jack leading the original one in York County for a decade. These clubs ultimately developed into what we now know as Junior Farmers Association of Ontario, which, along with 4-H, has made great contributions to the education of rural youth throughout Ontario and Canada. In 1922, Professor Steckley was appointed as the head of the Animal Husbandry Department at OAC, as he was now well known for his abilities as an educator, an outstanding livestock judge, and as an innovator. In the late 1940s, J.C. Steckley became the director of the Western Ontario Experimental Farm, where he emphasized extension work through crop tours, farm equipment demonstrations, seed judging, nutrition and genetic research on hogs, the development of parent stocks for Ontario's first corn hybrids, and other key agricultural innovations to grow and develop Ontario agricultural production. He was the first to recognize the need for, for a Western Ontario agricultural school in Ridgetown. He incorporated a two-year agriculture diploma course, built a student residence, and the first class of 39 students began in 1951. Steckley remained as the first director of the WOAS until 1957 and will be remembered for his important work in agricultural extension, rural youth education, and the application of research results to continually improve production on Ontario farms. It is important to acknowledge and award the innovators of the past as they have facilitated the impressive growth and modernization of agriculture in this province. Certainly, Professor J.C. Steckley was responsible for many of the building blocks upon which Ontario agriculture in the 21st century now stands. Today, the Ontario Agricultural Hall of Fame is proud to induct John Jack Charles Steckley. Mr. Steckley was nominated by the Junior Farmers Association of Ontario and the West Ag Alumni Association. I now invite John Steckley to come forward to accept on behalf of his late grandfather. a former teacher, it was really hard for me to get down to two minutes. <laughs> and I figure because I'm the last one, it's going to take a hard time for them to hook me off. Anyway, <laughs> one of the great privileges of my life was knowing my grandfather and being influenced by him. I consider today one of the great events of my life, being able to talk about my hero, which he was talking about heroes. I saw my granddad. So I receive and accept this honor on behalf of John Charles 
Steckley, Jack Steckley. Sometimes he was called J.C. Steckley because <laughs> to a number of his students he was like that. Anyway, <laughs> I'm thanking it uh, uh, also on behalf of his nine grandchildren. Two of them are here, uh, me, my sister Anne, um, and others that are in Alberta and in Australia. Why is it the good farm families in Canada go to Australia? I don't know. Maybe, you know, we don't have many sheep here. I don't know. Um, okay. I also receive and accept this honor on behalf of the generations of young Ontario farmers who benefited from being taught by Professor Steckley, Prof Steckley, as he was known. We are so lucky today that four of his first class of students are, uh, and I would ask them to stand up. That was amazing. One of the things I really hoped for was to have uh, some of his students here, and that, that's great. Um, all right. <sighs> I would like to thank as, um, the Junior Farmers Association of Ontario for, for nominating my grandfather. I just, that's, you're a great group, just on that alone. <laughs> that's fantastic. And the West Ag uh, Alumni Association uh, for the successful nomination. That, that means so much to the family. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Reg Cressman for shepherding the process through. And as an owner of a border collie, I know what shepherding is all about, right? <laughs> Having been shepherded by one for years. Um, I'll end this, because I've got to keep it short. I'll end this um, at my grandfather's funeral. A uh, middle-aged farmer came up to me and said, if you could be half the man your grandfather was, you would be a great man. That is one of my goals in life, of being as much like my grandfather as I possibly could. Thank you. Can the family and friends please rise. There's more than a few family and friends of the Stepney. <clears throat>